द नॉलेज लाइब्रेरी डेली करंट अफेयर्स न्यूज हेडलाइंस ट्वेंटी जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नेशनल न्यूज द अमृत उद्यान ऑफ राष्ट्रपति भवन विल ओपन फॉर पब्लिक व्यूइंग फ्रॉम सेकेंड फेब्रुवरी टू थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च अंडर द उद्यान उत्सवाय टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर पीपल कैन विजिट द उद्यान सिक्स डेज अ वीक एक्सेप्ट ऑन मंडेज यूनियन मिनिस्टर राजीव चंद्र शेखर रिव्यूज जल जीवन मिशन इन आगरथला विद थीम्स ऑफ विकसित भारत एंड भारत लोकतंत्र की मात्रों का द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ रिपब्लिक डे परेड एट कर्तव्य पाथ ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ जनवरी विल बी विमेन सेंट्रिक मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन हैज इशूड रेगुलेशन ऑफ कोचिंग सेंटर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर गाइडलाइंस सेंग दैट नो कोचिंग सेंटर शैल एनरोल स्टूडेंट्स बिलो सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इनोग्रेटेड द न्यू स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट बोइंग इंडिया इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर एंड लॉन्च द बोइंग सुकन्या प्रोग्राम इन बेंगलुरु ऑन फ्राइडे ई एम जयशंकर मीट्स हिज वेनेजुलन काउंटर पार्ट यवन गिल इन युगेंडा ऑन साइड लाइन्स ऑफ नाम समिट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग सेक्रेटरी अपूर्वा चंद्रा रिव्यू द मीडिया अरेंजमेंट्स एंड हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज इन अयोध्या इन व्यू ऑफ प्राण प्रतिष्ठा सेरेमनी India announces new alliance for global good, gender equity and equality at WEF annual meeting. Central Consumer Protection Authority issues notice to Amazon for sale of sweets under misleading name of Sri Ram Mandir Ayodhya Prasad. Preparations for the Pran Pratishtha ceremony of Ram Lala Virajman in Ayodhya are in final stage. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath reviewed the preparations on Friday in Ayodhya. Tourism Ministry to organize annual event Bharat Parv from 23rd to 31st January. Union Minister V Muralidharan to represent India at G77 Third South Summit in Uganda. It attaches properties valued nearly 9 crore rupees in case related to online betting app. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar has expressed confidence that India will be among the top 3 economies of the world by the end of this decade. Union Minister Ajay Kumar Mishra inaugurates Regional Official Language Conference of South and South Western Region in Bangalore. India elected as first Vice Chair of COFI Subcommittee on Fisheries Management. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh dedicates 35 development projects worth 670 rupees CR of grow to nation at Joshimat. Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan today said the technological innovations will immensely contribute to the economy of the country. PM Modi lays foundation stone of eight projects of amrit worth around 2000 crores rupees in Solapur, Maharashtra. NDR have to train over 70000 people in disaster management this year. A total of 51 Indian Air Force aircrafts including 29 fighter aircrafts, eight transport aircrafts, 13 helicopters and one heritage aircraft will participate in Republic Day flypast this year. President Draupadi Murmu to confer Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar 2024 to 19 exceptional children in New Delhi on 22nd January 2024. Doordarshan Tamil to be relaunched by PM Modi today to bring out new programs using high end technology. Government has said that more than 5 crore people benefited from free health services during the ongoing Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today greets NDRF personnel on their raising day. Dense to very dense fog conditions observed in many parts of India. Several trains running late due to obstructed visibility. Bangalore and Delhi airports jointly backed best airport award for the year at fourth edition of Wings India Awards in civil aviation sector. International news. Pakistan civil military leadership held a high level consultative meeting on Friday to discuss the growing conflict with Iran. Indian envoy Harish Parvat Khanani meets Florian Hahn discusses India Germany strategic partnership. Devotees in Sri Lanka observing special pujas ahead of Pran Pratishtha at Ram Mandir in Ayodhya. Iran's foreign ministry condemned Pakistan's precision military strikes against terrorist hideouts on non-Iranian villages near their shared border, calling it unbalanced and unacceptable. Ship crossings through Panama Canal cut by 36% due to severe drought. Administrator Ricardo Vasquez estimates dipping water levels could cost up to 700 million dollar. US President Joe Biden said on Thursday that the clashes between Iran and Pakistan this week show that Iran is not well liked in the region. North Korea conducts a test of its underwater nuclear weapon system in a protest against recent joint military drills by South Korea, US and Japan. Sports news. 
Kelo India Youth Games declared open at Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the young India is representing a new India. Indian women's hockey team failed to qualify for the Olympics for the first time since 2016 after falling to a 1-0 loss against Japan in the third place playoff match at the FIH Women's Hockey Olympic Qualifiers in Ranchi. Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur has congratulated paddler Sreeja Akula for winning the World Table Tennis Feeder Women's Singles in Texas, USA. India Open Badminton. India star shuttler HS Pranoy to take on TW1 of Chinese Taipei in main singles quarterfinals. In chess, Domaraju Gokesh crushed the world number 5 Ian Neponyachti with white pieces in the 5th round of Tata Steel Masters at which Anzi, Netherlands. FIH Hockey Olympic Qualifiers 2024. Indian women's hockey team lost to Germany in Ranchi. Thank you have a nice day ahead. Like share and subscribe our channel